okay peace and bliss welcome back to reclaiming our roots okay so this is the progress that has been made this far as you can see all containers and prior years plants have been removed with the exception of leaves and wood chips they will remain in place to further decompose. In return, adding organic matter to our containers. Because that's what your plants need to thrive, organic matter. Lots of nitrogen and carbon and all of the trace minerals that plants need to thrive and as you can see this one is off and running this is I think this is uh, oregano Greek oregano okay so what I'm about to do now just waiting for my son to come out we're gonna go dump all of these wood sticks and plants if I had space this is the perfect organic material you need to put in your compost bin and you allow it to break down but we have a location that we dump all of our garden scraps in so yeah looking good huh oh let me show you I made an attempt at pruning my blueberry bushes. Like I said, I just um, use common sense. Any of the stems or branches that did not have blossoms on them or buds, I didn't prune off. But sticks that were branches that were in the walkway that did not have any buds on them, I pruned and removed. So just to give it a little shape. And there were several branches at the bottom that were dead that didn't have any buds. I removed them. As you can see, these have buds, which means they will have berries. So that's my attempt. We'll see how it does this season. But considering it pruned, and you can see the cuttings down here at the bottom. Okay. And I'll show you the apple trees. I thought about it. This is going to be potato row again this year. Last year I planted, I had 10 containers of Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm going to plant that again this year. So, one potato per container did pretty well for us last year. This is my Granny Smith apple tree. Not much to remove here because most of the branches have buds on them, which means they will produce, God willing, apples. So that's my Granny Smith and my tree that was damaged last year in a storm. This is the Honey Crisp. So I'm gonna leave that intact. Still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this space yet. Yep. So this is what it looks like. So I will bring you all back. My sons and I, we're gonna to top each container with compost. We're gonna leave the leaves in place to allow them to compost in place and break down. I have what you call no dig containers. I do not disturb the soil. Yes, loaded with all kinds of microbes in there. And I don't want to disrupt that ecosystem. So, just cover it with new organic matter, compost. And I'll amend it with some worm castings and probably some azomite. And I will use some blood meal and phosphorus. Mix it in, give it a good mix. And we're ready to rock and roll for the next season. And you want to put your granules in early before you plant because that allows it enough time for it to break down so the plant can uptake those minerals okay 
A lot of times we sprinkle it around the drip line and we're thinking that, you know, the plant is getting immediate uptake. It's not. It's going to take about a good three to four weeks for it to break down so the plant can absorb it. So you want to put it in early. So I won't be bringing my cuttings, not my cuttings, my, um, I won't be bringing my seedlings out until next month. Okay, but I am gonna do a test. I'm gonna bring out a few earlier and test my theory on not hardening off this year. Since they are hardy, frost tolerant plants, let's see if they can weather the, the elements and how they'll do. Okay. So I got some organic compost. This is a new brand I bought last this year. This is called Blue Ribbon, 100% organic compost. Like I said, the goal is to start to start making my own. And I have yet to upplant my Meyer lemon and my key lime. So once my sons come out, we're gonna take care of that. And that's gonna be it until it's time to, oh, and I need to upplant my sage plant. It's a perennial, it comes back every year. It's beautiful too when it's in full bloom. Okay, so I'll bring you all back when we top and dress our containers with compost and add in some amendments and um, I'll cover them to protect them from the elements and then um, we'll be back in April. All right, see you in the next video. Peace and blessings.